Hello folks, in this video I'm going to be looking at three of the most powerful and popular keyword research tools on the planet, uh, which are Keyword Magic Tool by SEM Rush, Keyword Explorer by Ahrefs, and the Google Keyword Planner Tool. So uh, for this project, I'm very excited to look at one of my favorite uh, projects that we've uh, worked on uh, for helping their SEO, which is Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Uh, we support this organization and are helping them with their SEO. So um, just to give you a quick overview, what the organization does is they're trying to prove that the Twin Trade Centers were not collapsed as the, as the American government uh, wants us to believe. And um, if you look at this video here, you can, you can see the collapse of Building 7 as a free fall. Uh, the government told us that this building uh, went down like this because of office fires However, these guys essentially proved that it was a controlled demolition. So without uh, any more details, if you want to learn, feel free to come to this website and explore it. It's an amazing organization. But uh, we're going to be doing the keyword research for demonstration purposes, looking at them because they're a great example for this, uh, for this project here. So if we go to the keyword planner and we search for um, September 11, 2001, which is the day of the attack, we can see here that the keyword tool shows us 22,200 searches per month, but it doesn't give us suggestions like it usually does. And the reason for this is because the keyword planner tool is specifically for keywords that have purchase intent. It's not for these kind of keywords that don't have as much purchase intent, and that's why it's not giving us suggestions. Also, if you were to search for many other relevant keywords that have very high search volumes, like for example, 9, 11, conspiracy, you can see nothing comes up. And as I'll show you in these tools, uh, these keywords do come up and they have very large search volumes. So if we go in here and we search for 2001, and here you select your country, it's on a country level, not a city level, which is unfortunate, and that's why the ad preview, uh, sorry, the Google Keyword Planner is such a great tool. So if we click here, let it do the research, that's what it looks like. It's pulling up 21,000. Uh, searches per month on that versus 22 very close and then if we look at in this tool and I already did a search for this so I'll just go to the list you can see September 11th 22,200 so SEM rush is pulling the data straight out of the keyword planner so um, both of these tools are really great they have amazing data you can see the search volume the trends keyword difficulty which is very useful so here for this keyword, keyword difficulty is 90. And uh, over here it's 75. So the keyword difficulty score in Ahrefs is much more useful because they look at backlinks to this um, for this keyword and how many competitors have backlinks pointing to their websites and how hard it's going to be uh, to beat them. While these guys have a different metrics for keyword difficulty um, that looks at uh, not only the backlinks but uh, looks at um, many other factors that we don't believe are as important. So just start, you can read into this what it's all about. Very useful metric. So um, as you can see here, the search volumes are very similar. So why would we use both of these tools at WiseView uh, to do keyword research? As a matter of fact, we use all three. So if we, um, if we dig in here, I'm, I'm going to use um, another keyword as an example. And before I do, I just want to walk you through this, um, how it's all sorted out. So if you look at... Here, they show you all the keywords that they have in their database, uh, only the phrase match keywords. Um, having the same terms, which are the same, same keywords as here, also ranks for search suggestions and newly discovered and questions keywords. So um, if we go to all, here you're going to see a lot of uh, different keywords that are related. C911 attacks. However, if we go in here in SEM Rush. Um, you can see they're showing all and broad match. However, every single one of these keywords has September 11, 2001 in it. So they're not really broad match. They're more like uh, modifier broad match, if you're familiar with AdWords. So, uh, but there's a workaround uh, with SEM Rush. You just click into the keyword, the seed keyword here, which is the main one. And uh, here, this gives you the keyword overview report for that specific keyword. Uh, gives you the monthly data, which is great. The volume. And then here's related keywords. So uh, we can export this and see all the related keywords. 
However, with with the Ahrefs, we found that uh, they encompass a much broader amount of keywords. So, just to demonstrate that, let's do a 9/11, 9-11. I'm gonna do a quick search. We're gonna do the same thing here. And if I just go back, and you can see up here, I already did that. So I don't need to search for it again. That's the beauty of uh, of this tool. It saves it for you in these different tabs that you can organize, which is great. So 9-11 here, um, unfortunately doesn't uh, put that keyword 9-11 at the top. Um, it's because there's a dash in here, which they can't read. And if you try that with, uh, with this tool as well, you can't do that. It just tells you it's invalid. So you have to search 9-11, which, um, which is not very uh, useful. And even if you try nine space eleven, Google gives you the same same result. So, Ahrefs is the best here. It's showing that specific keyword, which is the main keyword. And if we were using this tool, we would miss on that keyword. It we would miss out on it. It's limited in that sense. So that's why why you use both of these tools. So going back, um, these are all the keywords that they're giving me. If I click export, I'm gonna export that there and just open it up. There's Ahrefs. Now, if I come here and export this, I'll click that. There's SEM Rush. So now, if we search here for 9 11 conspiracy, you can see it right there 9 11 conspiracy, 6700. So this keyword is very, uh, very valuable and relevant keyword. However, if we come into SEM Rush and search for that, it didn't come up, so that's uh, it's very unfortunate uh, with uh, SEM Rush. It's limited in that sense, and Ahrefs is not. And like I uh, demonstrated here, if we search here for 9/11 conspiracy, you can't even do it. But if you changed it to 9/11 conspiracy, you can see it gives you nothing, even though the keyword has 6,700 searches. So just to sum everything up, at WiseView, our keyword research process starts with Ahrefs. We'll plug in some of the core keywords in here and uh, we'll enter multiple keywords as the seed, seed keywords up here. We'll get a very broad list. We'll go through there and pick some of the main keywords. And then what we'll do is we'll um, add those keywords to SEM Rush Keyword Magic. And you can see here how we organized this project September 11, 2001 and all the keywords uh, that are relevant to that specific seed keyword are here. Then I uh, will get 9-11 attacks, building seven, uh, building seven collapse these are some of the core ones you might um, you might want to add them here together but um, sometimes you can see here it has building seven collapse so this is really not needed we just wanted to dig a little bit further um, so that's how we sort them out and then what we do is we'll go in here and pick the keywords that are the most relevant uh, we'll look at the keyword difficulty score here as well as here to find out how hard it's going to be to rank for those keywords and we'll pick the, the specific keywords based on their search volume and how competitive they are or the keyword difficulty score. And then what we do here is SEM Rush has a very good way of organizing keywords. So we'll pick the keywords that we think are the, are the best. 9-11 attack, 9-11 conspiracy. And then now we'll click here, add the keyword analyzer. So keyword analyzer is like a depository of keywords that you have and it, it adds them all here, all the main ones. And then you can uh, you can run reports here and get uh, more data per keyword. So it, it gives you uh, the group where it belongs into the seed keywords. So if you go to Ahrefs and you go overview, you can see here parent topic. That's essentially what groups are. And parent topics are your core keywords, or pretty much it gives you an idea of how to build your pages. So for this, we would create a page called 911. Uh, 911 and then uh, it takes some time to update but once it updates you can see all these different metrics competition click potential top competitors you see all the top competitors there and uh, that's how we do it at WiseView uh, I hope you liked this video and that you found it useful if you did please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to more videos like this take care